All right, thanks for joining us in this edition of Renovation Time. We're in this beautiful kitchen and we're gonna talk with the tile backsplash and a couple of options still in the kitchen. One thing quickly I wanted to mention though is when you take a wall, which we did in this renovation, there was a wall basically going right across with a doorway in this area. We had to marry up the floor. So what we ended up doing is we got our good buddy, Ronnie Gavin in, he came in, uh, we were able to get the floor. So the client went to the, the center that they, ha they uh, had it originally. We're able to get it. He pieced it all together. And that's one thing I should mention is that you want, you don't want like a simple line cut. You want to make sure that he pulls the pieces out that he needs to, to get the floor to look and flow like it's always been together. So we were lucky enough to do that. Tile backsplash. This is, um, this took a while for the client to find the backsplash that they wanted, which is great. And I always say, wait until you know it's the right one. So she did. And uh, I think it looks terrific in here. There's, I believe, 18 different tiles. So if you can see in here, every one is different. So we had Timmy, our tile guy, come over, laid it out on the island with the customer. They picked how they were going to place every tile in this kitchen. So there's not one area where one tile is matching the other tile. If you sit here and look long enough, you can find the, the ones that are actually matching. But, uh, but generally they're, they're very sporadic, which is really nice. And then we did just above the window too, which is a nice feature. So when we come back, we're gonna continue to talk about the kitchen and the electrical. All right, here we go in a minute. So we got a lot to talk about. So kitchen wise, quickly, a couple things if you're renovating. I like the way that they put the pot drawers on the end of the island here. It gives you a little bit of room. And again, it's close to the dishwasher, which is really nice. Deep sink, single hole faucet, always a good idea. Uh, over in here, spice rack, I talk about them all the time. It's a great place for it. It gets all those spices that when you have them above your head and you pull them out, they fall on the ground. Now it's all nicely contained there. Lastly, uh, electrical, we put LED lights underneath the cabinet. So it's strip lighting, uses very, very low wattage, which is good in hydro. So a nice idea, really nice evening accent light. Always in an island, you have to put a GFI or a plug. So we have one right here, which is a nice location. You get your fruit processor, your toaster, whatever in here. So hope you like this kitchen. It turned out beautifully, amazing customer. And she took the time to find exactly what she wanted. And she was a lot of fun to work with. So thank you. But uh, we'll come back, I'm sure, to this renovation at some point. And uh, until next time, be safe and have fun. And in Kitchen and Bath Center, call or visit their showroom at 1985 Lansdowne Street, just west of Braley Drive.